Hey everybody, Michael Snyder, California Weather Watch. Today is November 15th. And right now we are looking at the infrared satellite imagery. We've got California off to the right here. There's the Pacific Ocean. Strong jet stream ripping across the northern Pacific. It's going to usher in another frontal system as we go through this weekend. we got cold air aloft and some showers. In the meantime, across the state of California, had some thunderstorms this morning across some of the foothills of the Sierra Nevada down towards Hatchapi. And some strong winds ongoing, some waves that are correlating with some of the king tide action also. But what everybody wants to talk about here is a big pattern change coming as we go through next week. Powerful atmospheric river potentially pointed into the west coast of North America. We're going to go over those details as we go through the video here this morning. If we take a look at what's going on right now, you can see we've got some showery activity there across some of the central coast. California, Southern California, higher terrain, a little bit of snow flying across the higher peaks, and we had some thunderstorm activity. If I scroll back, you'll see some of that activity right there on the foothills of the Sierra Nevada. And if I go back a little bit further, you can see them there, Tehachapi and Transverse Range right into the foothills with that northwest flow. So kind of nice to see that change of pace here. Now, taking a look at where we are right now, 18,000 feet. This is that trough driving that frontal system. And as we go through the day today, that'll be pushing off to the south and east, kind of slowly here as we go through Saturday. But this system will be getting out of the region. And then this next uh, frontal system is hot on its heels. This will be an inside slider, kind of precipitation star. But again, some chillier air, some mountain snows will fall with this one, and some gusty winds as well. Then we build a little bit of high pressure in the wake of this system over the Great Basin. We'll check that out here in a moment. But the big pattern change here is this cold air dropping down over the Pacific Ocean. Strong low pressure system off of Vancouver Island. And folks, this would be driving quite the sinister atmospheric river back into the west coast of North America. So check that out. This one has more of a subtropical tap and much more precipitation potentially to work with. More on that here with them in a moment. Stick with me. Taking a look at the European as of what's going on right now. First things first. So we still have some of the snow flying as we go through the day today. As we go through tonight, you'll notice the snow showers across the Sierra Nevada should be on the way by the time we get towards Saturday morning. A little bit of a break on Saturday. Keep pushing off and you'll see the next frontal system as we go through Sunday afternoon. Pushing across Northern California, all the way down across the Sierra Nevada. Check it out. You know, some more snowfall to deal with there. That should be nice. Let's keep building that up while we can. Because things might be changing up as we go through next week. But then we scroll off towards next week and you can see this frontal system start to push into the region. And this one has a fairly sinister look to it here, folks, especially if this hangs up over any given area. Flooding can become quickly uh, quite the problem. So more on that here in a moment. Get a little bit ahead of myself. Let's go ahead and check out what is going on first. So we have the coastal flood advisory. We have high surf advisories. We got some hazardous seas out there. You know, we got some frost and freeze warnings. And of course, that's correlating with some of the uh, higher than normal tides this week associated with the king tides. Now, Bay Area, nothing different here as well. High surf advisory, got some coastal flood advisories out there also. So heads up for that. It goes, the high surf advisory is through 11 a.m. on Saturday. Now, Sacramento, snow levels 4,500 to 5,500 feet, lowering to 3,500, 4,500 feet by this evening. Precipitation should be wrapping up, but of course, there'll still be some snow flying, so it doesn't take much to make the road slick. So keep that in the back of your mind if you're going back and forth across the passes. Now, taking a look at wind speed. So we're going to have these strong winds today out of the west across the mountainous areas. We've got gale warnings here across Southern California. We'll get strong winds up and down the coastline as we go through this afternoon, this evening. We do relax that gradient a little bit as we go through Saturday, but still some brisk northerly winds across Nevada, California deserts as we go on in through Saturday night and into Sunday. You can see some pretty blustery stuff going on here as we go through Sunday morning. But then that next frontal system starts rolling in here. You can see it pushing down across northern California as we go through Sunday afternoon. Now, 24-hour snow totals here. Sierra Nevada should be wrapping that up as we go on in through tomorrow for the most part. Most of it will be falling by tomorrow morning. But then the next system starts rolling in as we go through Sunday night, Monday morning, Central Sierra Nevada, northbound Cascades, Klamath Range, maybe the Siskiyou is getting some snowfall as well. And then we get a little bit of a break before we start to await the next system. Also, just driving home the point that we still have some elevated wave activity as we go through the day today. It should be on the wane as we go through tomorrow, but still don't get complacent if you're going out to some of the coastal areas. And then we get another shot of wave action as we go on in through the day Monday, as you can see that propagate down much of the state of California. <clears throat> 
Now, let's go ahead and take a look at the extended forecast here. This is what everybody wants to know about. Let's look at this system moving through. You got the global forecast system on the right. That's the USA model versus the European artificial intelligence on the left. So there goes the strong frontal system through Sunday into Monday inside slider there. Deep trough digging out over the Pacific Ocean. And this one is potentially packing a punch with its atmospheric river into Oregon, portions of California. And you can see we start to diverge a little bit as we get out towards 140 hours plus GFS showing this hanging a bit further off the coastline there and each one of these would have different threats associated with it but definitely more of a subtropical tap much more precipitation to work with so we really have to watch this over the next few days it's not completely the time to start sounding alarms just yet but if this continues to show tomorrow then it definitely is now if we take a look at the precipitable water this is how you can view atmospheric rivers in our atmosphere you got the hawaiian islands to the bottom left there there's the state of california gfs again on the right european on the left put this into motion there's a sunday system there you notice not a lot of moisture to work with not a big deal as far as flooding is concerned but then as we dig this cold air out over the pacific ocean strong low pressure right off of vancouver island has been trending much closer to the coastline here over the last day or two and then you can see that atmospheric river just burrowing itself into California. The European wants to bring this all the way down across Southern California, as you can see, as we go through uh, the following weekend or this upcoming weekend. And not this weekend, but the following one. Get a little ahead of myself there, sorry. But you see the GFS bouncing this atmospheric river around. That is a particularly nasty look there. If this hangs up over any given area, that can cause some pretty extreme flooding. And then eventually it propagates it down across Southern California. So yeah, active weather is incoming here, folks. Now we're gonna take a look at the ensemble mean. So this kind of gives you more of a broad picture to see exactly what we're dealing with. There's Sunday system, pretty good agreement there. When we're, we're What we're looking at here is the European on the left as of last night versus yesterday afternoon. And then this is that strong storm developing. You can see the ensembles really in pretty good agreement showing that and then this atmospheric river placement right into the state of California. And that's where last night's model run ends. But you see the subtropical tap all the way back towards the Hawaiian Islands, bit of a pineapple express there, which is just a name for an atmospheric river, by the way. Now, I stopped this one right here because this is yesterday's run. You can see the high pressure stronger over the Great Basin. This would bring stronger offshore winds, but this is yesterday morning. This is last night. So you see the models trending stronger with this low closer to the coastline makes this high pressure weaker and further east. So this would mean lesser of an offshore wind event as we go through the early portion of this upcoming week. And if we take a look at that, this is in the meantime, we've got some of the strong winds as this system continues to move in this frontal system on Sunday. You can see it right there, swinging down across the area. Again, that one is an inside slider. And then that is when the winds start to turn offshore a bit here as we go through very late Monday night into Tuesday morning. Could be gusty at times, but it should be kind of a... Uh, you know, a brief offshore wind event, let's call it. But still, even if it gusts for 6 to 12 hours, it can still cause some problems. So we'll be watching that one closely. But if you're watching out here across the Pacific Northwest, you can see that mid-latitude cyclone just spin up this atmospheric river, just absolutely ripping into the West Coast of North America, folks. And this thing looks like it means business. So We'll reevaluate all this again here tomorrow and break it down and we'll see what kind of model agreement we have by then. We went with some pretty dramatic changes here over the last 24 to 36 hours in what the weather models were saying. So we'll start sounding alarm bells by this time tomorrow. Let's just put it that way, if it continues to show the same stuff. Six to 10 day, you take this with a grain of salt. This was yesterday. I keep checking to see if this has been updated. I don't know exactly what time they put that out, but we're gonna just take this with a grain of salt right now. You saw models are in flux and we've got some big storms potentially off our coastline. A little bit of above average there, but anyway, yeah. So. If you start seeing that in some of the weather apps and you start seeing that in social media and whatnot, yes, there is some truth to it. So we're going to continue to watch that very closely. Check back again tomorrow. We'll go over it all again then. Hope you guys are having a good day. Otherwise, click like and subscribe and I will talk to you guys tomorrow.